Hey guys, welcome back to Digi6 Card. Appreciate you showing up as always. Today we're going to talk about something completely different than this channel, but it's a way to stay out of trouble. <laughs> yeah. So we've been tasked with going grocery shopping, okay? Every once in a while we got to do it. Sometimes I enjoy doing it. Sometimes I utterly hate the idea of having to go and fight with a bunch of people in line. But uh, I'm going to show you guys some tricks uh, that will help you hopefully. So I've had the, had the ability to... Uh, work at a firehouse that had 16 people on duty a day many many years back and basically we would shop for the month and we would have a group of us go basically one engine crew which is five of us and we'd all get tasked we'd all have a cart and we'd all go get our stuff that we needed to get and then meet back and then uh, pay for all that stuff so something a little more simpler this would be more for you guys at your house uh, this is what I use at my house sometimes but I'll show you guys what I use. Maybe it'll help you. Maybe it'll keep you out of trouble. Maybe you show up with all your items that you're supposed to have. So let's take a look at this thing. All right, you guys. So <clears throat> some of you guys run a grocery list like this, right? And you write all your crap down, blah, 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 so on and so forth. And then you got to, every time you pick something up, you got to check it off the list, right? Check, 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 blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> Well, if you're anything like me, I freaking lose my pen every time. You put it in the little thing, in that little cart deal, and it goes falls through the hole and you lose the damn thing five minutes into it. So there's that idea. So if you're grocery shopping like this, this video may help you out. Now there's two ways to do it, in my if opinion. You set up whatever grocery store you go to. Say you got a grocery store, Albertsons, um, Harris Teeter, whatever the case is, and you kind of just do a drawing like this, maybe something a little nicer. And you just make photocopies of it every time you go to the grocery store. So now you know where all it's located in the grocery store. And then you just start adding stuff. So say like under the meats area, you know, I'll put ground beef. Ground beef. So, and I'm going to put all the cans of fruits, cans of veggies, uh, coffee, beer, whiskey, wine, movies, fruits, vegetables. So all your salad stuff, you just write everything down. You know, frozen pizza, you know, a gallon of milks, 12 eggs, uh, some cheese of whatever, some bakery stuff, breads, whatever the case is. And then maybe you're picking up a sandwich from the deli. And don't forget about the flower section. Happy wife is a happy life. Pick up some flowers for your wife. So all this stuff would be on your normal sheet, minus this here. And you just print one of these out every time. You write everything down that you need to pick up. And then you're not backtracking and forgetting anything. You know, we always go in the grocery store, we get our stuff. We got our own little routine of going in and out of the aisles, whatever the case is. But maybe you don't even need to hit any of this, or maybe you just need some stuff over here. You know that you don't even need to go over here. It'll save you some time and energy. So here is, here is my, here's my list. It's called the Honey Do It If You Want to Eat list. So basically you write everything down blah 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 you got sweet tea paper towels so on and so forth all the way down you got beer more sweet tea flowers for your wife blah 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 so you're walking to the store you grab the sweet tea so you just bend the little tab back and you're going along you found uh you found some of these blah blahs they're down over there by the one the one little area there so on and so forth got to the meat section so you picked up the meat as you're going through, got some more of this. Since you got the other sweet tea, might as well grab that sweet tea. So then you got an idea of what you're still looking for. You haven't had to, you haven't had to use a pen. And that's how you do it. Make sure you get the flowers for your wife. Get some more of these blah, blah, blahs. And don't forget to pick up this one as well. But basically at the end of the day, you will have all these folded over and you know you didn't forget anything. Hopefully that helps. Hopefully that keeps you out of hot water. Make sure you grab everything and go to the grocery store. Talk to you guys later. See you on the next video. Bye.